Let's face it, 2020 has been a bit of a rubbish year. And while some shiny new models won't make up for the dumpster fire that has been the past 12 months, the electric car has been a beacon of light amongst a dense fog of despair. Tesla may have been leaders in affordable electric cars in recent years, and many will argue that they still are. But 2020 will be known as the year that the rest of the world struck back. Major European car manufacturers have finally launched cars aimed at getting those on smaller budgets behind the wheel of an EV. But they're not the only new machines we've seen in 2020. So here they are, the five best electric cars that launched over the past 12 months. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you think I've got this completely wrong, don't hesitate to call me out in the comments. We've been waiting a long time for the Mini Electric. It was first previewed as a limited run prototype in 2010, but a decade later, the car finally makes it into production. Needless to say, it looks just like a Mini. And that's by no means a bad thing, as the new shape Mini is hugely popular. The story is pretty much the same on the inside, bar a few questionable neon yellow highlights and a digital instrument cluster ahead of the driver. So let's cover the differences. Under the skin is a 32.6 kilowatt hour battery pack that serves up a range of up to 145 miles as rated under WLTP. Okay, the range won't set the world alight, but minis are known for being great cars to drive and the electric version is no exception. With a price tag of £25,000 after the plug-in grant, it's a properly tempting EV. The Fiat 500 has been hugely popular since it relaunched back in 2007, so it comes as little surprise that the Italian mark is wanting to capitalise on the electric car boom by giving its Super Mini the EV treatment. Though it doesn't look massively different to the old car, albeit with new LED headlights and a sleeker overall design, all the big changes can be found underneath. The 500 electric gets a 42 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery with a WLTP rated range of 199 miles an hour, beating the Mini Electric and the next car on our list. There's a mix of driving modes to help you get the most out of your car, including a Sherpa mode that sips on battery power so you can find your way to a charger ASAP. Stylish, frugal and crucially, quite cheap at £20,000 after the plug-in car grant. The new 500 could be a serious hit when sales open early next year. The Honda E is quite possibly one of the most fun cars to launch in 2020. And that's just not compared to other electric cars, oh no. Its single rear-mounted 152 brake horsepower electric motor will get you from 0 to 62 in a decent 7.9 seconds but the near instant torque served up by its electric powertrain means the Honda E feels far nippier behind the wheel. The cabin is also wonderfully refreshing. Sure, the five screen dashboard, including two monitors for the wing mirrors, won't be for everyone, but the Honda E's airy cabin design will make you feel like you're piloting a trendy cafe rather than a small electric car. It's not perfect, with a WLTP rated range of just 136 miles, the Honda E isn't exactly the best choice when it comes to long journeys, and with a boot space of 117 litres, not including the charging cables, it's not what you'd call practical. Nevertheless, it's a brilliant car to drive and a strong first attempt at a full EV. Plus, it's properly charming. We're just scratching the surface here, so check out our full review by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. Not all EVs launched in 2020 were super minis. If you're after something luxurious and the Tesla lineup doesn't quite get you excited, then you'll want to check out the Polestar 2. The Swede Chinese sister brand of Volvo has already had a stab at creating an electrified car with its hybrid Polestar 1 coupe, but the 2 is the firm's first all electric model. It's equipped with a 78 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that, under WLTP, is capable of powering the car for up to 292 miles. Performance is pretty brisk too, with its twin motor layout launching drivers from 0 to 62 in 4.7 seconds. But it's the interior quality that sets the Polestar 2 apart from its rivals. Couple that with a decent boot space and a price tag of £46,900 
after the £3,000 plug-in car grant and the Polestar 2 works out as a serious competitor to the Tesla Model 3. Whether you love it or loathe it, there's no denying the Volkswagen ID3 is one of the most important new cars of the entire year. It's essentially an all-electric version of the VW Golf and is Europe's first take at a mass-market, high-volume EV to take on the likes of the Model 3. Underneath the ID3's quirky exterior is a single electric motor sat between the rear wheels. It develops 201 brake horsepower and 310 Nm of torque, and is connected up to three different battery options, which are 45 kWh, 58 kWh, and 77 kWh capacities. Range topping models fitted with the 77 kWh pack offer up to 342 miles of range under WLTP. What's more, it's already immensely popular. The ID3 was the UK's best selling car in October, overtaking the Tesla Model 3 for the top spot. Do you agree with our list? Tell me I'm wrong in the comments below. And remember to keep it civil, please. And for more on cars with either batteries or engines, head over to yesauto.com.